Hello everyone, today we're going to have a look on how to roll back the game version of Wuchang Fallen Feathers. I selected version 1.4 because it has, I believe, the most quality of life updates without altering the story or making the game easier. So, patch 1.5 made some pretty big changes to the story and I don't like that and I've also heard and I haven't confirmed because I'm not there yet that the game was made easier which to me well it's a souls game it's supposed to be difficult so without further ado let's see how we can change that manually there is a mod out there I'll put a link either in a comment or the description. Probably a comment because YouTube doesn't let me put links in my descriptions for God knows what reason. I hate YouTube sometimes. But anyway, on SteamDB, you need this number. This is the app ID for Wuchang Fallen Feathers. Uh, you wanna go to patches. You wanna check which, which patch you would like to go back to. Um, this number is a bit big. So I can't remember that, but I can remember 26 July. I believe this is the 1.4 patch date. So we will go down to Depot. And then to this one, 2277561. Over here, we scroll down. No, we don't scroll down. Sorry about that. What is happening? Sorry, we go to Manifests. And then 26 July, and we need this number. So we have the app ID, we have the depot ID, and we have the manifest ID. Okay, so Steam has a command that's called download depot, and it needs the app ID, the depot ID, and the target manifest ID. This is a command that you need to input on Steam's console. So in here we have Steam and it doesn't have a console. You have to enable it. You can have Steam running. What you need to do is press the Windows key plus R to bring up the run window, command line, whatever. And you have to put in Steam colon backslash backslash open slash console. And then you hit OK. Voila, we have the console here. Now, this is very important. When you put in the command to download, there needs to be enough space on your hard disk because it's going to be downloading the entire game again. It's 40 something gigabytes. That command I was telling you about, download depot with the numbers, you copy it into the Steam console and you hit enter. And now this is gonna take a while there is no progress bar and it's it's about 45 gigabytes so uh, one of two things can happen here it will just download no problem or if you don't have enough space it's going to take a while and then it's going to return an error stating that you don't have enough space if you did make enough space you should just wait it out i'm going to speed this up on the video of course all right so that took a while so you can see here, depot download complete, and it, it gives you the location, so you need to go to that location, which is right here. And here you have basically the entire game, right? So now there's, from what I've read, there's two ways to do this. The way I did it, I just went back to where my original game is installed. I deleted the files in the directory and then I copied these ones over. I don't know where the saved files for the game are. I think they are under users, but I'm not sure. I still have to, to check that out. However, I didn't have any problems. I didn't lose any progress. This may not be true once DLC comes out because something's probably gonna break. 
if you have a save from the, the DLC version, let's just say 1.7 or whatever, and then you try to do this, it is possible that those saves won't be compatible. But for now, because nothing new was added, I don't think there is a problem. Anyway, so now you would copy this stuff to the directory where your game is installed. And also, if you have a spare hard drive or you have a thumb drive, you can copy this depot just to keep it safe. So you, you don't have to re-download it. Because if Steam wants to upgrade, which may happen, uh, there's something we are going to do in order to try to prevent this from happening. But I don't know if it works because I've never done it. This is the, the first time I get into this stuff. I was that upset about the, the changes that I, I got spurred into action to do this. So anyway, so in here you can see, this is the depot. So these are the files we just downloaded. And this is my Wuchang Fallen Feathers directory. So we would delete this stuff and then copy this stuff into here. Once that's done, you need to go to this other directory right here steam steam apps and you need to find the app manifest 2277560 which is the app id for wuchang and then you would right click on it and you would mark it as read only so that steam can't override it when trying to update now i don't know if this is going to prevent any update problems with steam because as i said i have never done this and i like to I like to be able to confirm what I say, but this is what I'm running right now, and I'm playing this version on, on Steam. Now, for the other option, once you put your depot in a safe spot, preferably a different hard drive, or maybe its own directory in your current hard drive, we're going to create a new text file, and we're going to call it Steam underscore app ID dot txt. Steam underscore app ID dot txt. Okay. And in this file, we're just going to put in the app ID for Wuchang, which is 2277560, if I remember correctly. Now that we've done that, we are going to add this version as a non-Steam game. Add a non-Steam game to my library. That's going to take a while. All right, when this finishes loading, we're going to hit Browse. And then... We're going to point it. In this case, I still have it in the depot because I'm not going to move it. So we put it over here, hit enter. We hit project plague. And then we hit add selected programs. So it took a bit. Like I said, I had never done this. It added this project play, the name of the executable. And that's fine. You can put in a name here. Let's say Wu Chang 1.4, right? I don't know if this is going to work. This is my first time doing it. And then I lost it again. Here we go. So then we hit play. And it explodes. It doesn't explode. It actually runs. If this works, it might be safer to do it this way because uh, I guess Steam is going to have more trouble trying to just overwrite your stuff. Let's see. Yeah. Everything seems to be working. The one thing that I do not know because 
I wasn't paying attention in the beginning because I just played the game. I wasn't expecting uh, in my bingo card or anything else really that they were going to change things so dramatically. But down here we have the number 178111. This number uh, probably changes depending on the version. I never ran version 1.5. As soon as I learned that that thing was there and it made all those changes, I got so pissed off that I went on a single-minded drive to roll the game back or find a solution. And I did. So I did have to update it because Steam had already hijacked the app manifest and it was ready to update. But if someone in the comments can tell me what number appears on this side of the screen on version 1.5, then that would be useful information. And thank you in advance. Otherwise, well, that's the video. That's how you get uh, to roll back Wu Chang Fallen Feathers back to patch 1.4. And if you want an earlier patch, all you have to do is go back to Steam DB and just find the the manifest. If I can find my stuff. So we did this guy, right? The app ID and the depot ID, they don't change. It's 2277560 for the app ID and 2277561 for the depot ID. And then you just need the manifest ID and you can get this is probably the release patch or the 1.1 patch because developers love doing that crap these days. This is probably 1.3, this is probably 1.4, this is 1.4.1 and this is the dreaded 1.5. So we want nothing to do with this guy. Now, the only problem as, as I mentioned before, if the game gets DLC or new content, you won't be able to you won't be able to get that if you want to play the original unadulterated version. On the other hand, what can be done, and it's not ideal, the developer shouldn't have changed anything. We play through 1.4 or 1.3 or whatever, finish the game as it was intended and then if you still want to support this developer i don't know if i do to be honest but then you could get the dlc and uh, play on the most recent version i don't know at any rate it's a loss loss to me but i will die on this hill or i will kill on this hill souls likes are supposed to be hard and i hate when content gets retconned if I have the opportunity to not play a retcon game, I will do it, even if it takes more work. So here we're at. And with all that said, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Cheers.